going through this pandemic, we need all the help we can get so that we can overcome all that the enemy is doing against us. We need to find persons who would have experienced like things and who overcame so that we could learn from their experiences and likewise overcome. And that's why this morning we are back with Job, trying to learn how did he do it? How did he overcome despite losing everything, his family, his wealth? He even was plagued with sickness beyond measure. But he overcame. How? And one of the points I find is that he had relationship with God prior to his experiences his negative experiences. He had real relationship. No play, play. He knew his God. God knew him. And because of that, God allowed him to be tested. Yes, God trusted him because of the relationship that he had with Job. And that will help us in this pandemic. And this is why Job experienced what he did so that we can be helped through this season of pandemic. We need to know God personally. We need to know him intimately because in the knowledge of God, we're able in the midst of our issue to declare as Job did. I know, I know my Redeemer liveth. He complained, yes. His friends also complained. But at the end of the day, he did not stay in his complaint. He did not allow his complaint to stop his pursuit, his relationship with God. And that is our encouragement today. We may find some things to complain about. We may even hear the complaints of others but we need not to stop there. We need not to allow the complaints to bury us, but rather propel us in our relationship with God. The word of the Lord today is still found in Job 19, 25 through 27. We read it yesterday. I want to encourage us to read it again so that you may receive strength in your condition, in your sadness, in your challenge, in all of your weakness, you will receive strength. In the midst of the complaining, you can receive strength through the word of God. And then we must know, we must be intimate with God. We must know that he lived and that we will stand at the end of the day. Though worms destroy our bodies, though the issues of life bring us down, we may lose our house, we may lose our family, we may lose our friends, but we must stand on the fact that if we know God, we will win. We are winners. And so today, let's know Him whom to know is life everlasting, whom to know is strength. And this is enough to encourage us to overcome in these difficult and challenging times. Father, we thank you for your covering that can come above, that can come over us, that can even be behind us. We praise you that your love for Job is still for us today. And we ask that we will abide in the knowledge of our God, not in complaining, not in finding fault, but rather seeing the Redeemer, the one who came and paid the price for our sins, seeing the power 
that the Redeemer have over issues and situations. We live in that same power. We're also able to overcome. So we commit the nation leaders. We commit those who lead in the medical profession, those who lead in the body of Christ, those who lead in society. We pray the blessings of God. We also thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and the peace in every family everywhere, despite the issues. May our families look to you. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Job is still teaching us today. The oldest book in the Bible. We can still learn about our Redeemer. Have a great day in the Lord.